have to evaluate completely different alternatives? Do you have to accommodate distinct needs in one solution? Do you have to find consensus on conflicting ideas? For sure, you need to learn the waste scoring method. My name is Américo Cunha. In this lesson, we'll be learning the weighted scoring method. Welcome, let's start. The weighted scoring method is a tool to rank completely different alternatives for a problem. To choose the best suitable technology for an application. To select the most critical problem among several. First, let's see how the method works in a simple example. John needs to buy a new car. But he is very confused with so many options. He is thinking about a cheaper and full efficient model. But his family is asking for a big and fancy car. His decision involves conflicting interests that are difficult to accommodate. The question is how to find the most suitable alternative that better accommodates all family needs and desires. Let's see who is involved in the decision. John, his wife, a 10 years old boy, a 7 years old daughter, and a dog. John needs a car to drive every day to work, and monthly they visit relatives that live 100 kilometers away. It is just a day trip. The first step is to create a table with the requirements and possible alternatives. The requirements are listed in the first column. As you can see, we summarized John's needs into four major requirements. Passengers' comfort, full efficiency, monthly payments, and cargo capacity. Secondly, we need to identify alternatives. In this case, the car models John can buy. To be more illustrative, we decided to present alternatives manufactured by Ford Company. The four models are Fiesta, Focus, Edge, and Explorer. Fiesta is the smallest, cheapest, and most full efficient car. On the other side, we included the Ford Explorer, a large utility vehicle. In the middle range, we have Ford Focus and Edge. Now, the weighting and scoring table is ready for the analysis. Requirements in the lines and alternatives in the columns. The next step, we need to define which requirement is the most important, which one is the least important. The challenge is to translate the requirement importance into numeric weights. The most important requirement receives wage 5, high importance. The least important receives wage 1, low importance. Let's make some assumptions for John. John uses his car every day to work. The vehicle must be full efficient. And therefore, the requirement full efficiency receives weight 5. John considers that cargo capacity is not that important and gave wage 1 for this requirement. The remaining requirements receive intermediate weights, ranging from 2 to 4. In this example, passengers' comfort and monthly payments are graded as 3. That means that they have intermediate importance in the final decision. In the following step, we need to evaluate each alternative on each requirement. Let's start with the first alternative, Ford Fiesta. John thinks that this car satisfies partially the requirement comfort. Therefore, Fiesta receives score 1. In terms of full efficiency and payment, Fiesta receives the highest score, 5, because it is the cheapest and has the better full efficiency. For cargo capacity, Fiesta does not satisfy the needs, and it received score zero on this requirement. After finishing the scoring for the Fiesta alternative, John needs to give scores for the remaining models. Once the scoring 
for all alternatives is finished, it is time to calculate the weighted score. The weighted score is calculated by multiplying the alternative score by the requirement weight. For instance, in terms of passengers' comfort, Model Fiesta received score 1. The weighted score will be 3 times 1, that is 3. For full efficiency, the weighted score is 5 times 5, that comes to 25. After calculating all weighted scores for the alternative, it's possible to determine its total weighted score. The total weighted score is obtained by adding up the weighted score for each requirement. For the alternative Fiesta, the weighted score is 3 plus 25 plus 15 plus 0, that comes to 43. Now, we can repeat the calculation for the remaining alternatives. It's now possible to have an idea how suitable the alternatives are for John's requirements. In fact, the weighted scoring method translated needs and opinions into weights and score, which helps to compare alternatives using numerical values. Let's recap. The needs and interests were translated into requirements. The requirements received weights based on the importance level. Then, the total weighted score was calculated. This made possible to compare and rank alternatives. In this case, we may assume that the alternative focus is the most suitable for John's needs. The weighted scoring method can be explained in five easy steps. First, define the objective and requirements. Second, grade each requirement importance with weights. Three, identify alternatives to achieve the objective. Four, give scores to each alternative and calculate the total weighted score. Finally, rank alternatives and interpret the results. Let's check now some practical business applications. This example shows how to select a technology. You can see technological alternatives in the columns and business requirements in the lines. You can evaluate each technology against each requirement and then identify the most suitable for a specific application. This example shows how to approach a supplier selection. The suppliers are placed in the columns and the company business requirements in the lines. By providing ratings, scores for each supplier, you find out the best supplier to provide the resources required. Thanks for watching. I wish you the best as you apply the weighted scoring method in your course assignments and professionally.